Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome again. What a day this has been. I'm back again. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Linda with It's a Crime. Welcome, everybody. We are going to talk just for a few short minutes, and then there's actually a press conference that's starting in four minutes. So to give you a little recap today, Chad Daybell's property was searched as of 7 a.m. this morning. They had FBI agents, they had Rexburg police, they had all kinds of authorities on there. They had tarps, they had uh, backhoes. They were searching and they found human remains on the property. Chad's vehicle was impounded and Chad was too. Chad is now arrested. He, as of 5.21 p.m., and he's charged with destruction, sorry, destruction or concealment of evidence. His mugshot's going to be coming, uh, I believe Rexburg said, or not Rexburg, Nate Eaton said he'll be getting a mugshot. So in three minutes, there is going to see the, uh, the we're going to see the press conference. Now, I'm going to give you guys the, um, let me see it here. I'm going to give you guys the link so that you can see it as well. And I will put the volume on. We can have a chit chat about it. So if you see, I just put that link there. Welcome for those who are joining me. I was just doing a quick recap of all the craziness today of Chad getting arrested. He's now been arrested as of 521 p.m. Um, and booked in and he's charged with destruction or concealment of evidence. They found human remains on the property today that has not been identified yet. Um, and his vehicle's impounded and they were searching his property. So um, all things are happening right, right today. It's been a really crazy day, but we're moving forward. We're finally having something happen and it's, it's very important. And so we'll see what they're doing. They did do a press conference um, this afternoon and they just said just a little bit. And they said that, um, well, the authorities confirmed that was human remains because there was a lot of chatter, right? So I'm sure all kinds of things are happening. So we'll see, we'll see what this is all about and see what they have to say. All right. I can't show it on my screen because I'm on my mobile. No worries though. I'm going to be playing it audibly and soon we will be upgrading my live stream. Okay, this month we're upgrading. So, but you know I'll relay this in info. Uh, Christy Wood says they have found two bodies. Court TV just said. Well, we'll see what, thank you for, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for letting me know that. Um, we'll see now with the conference how much they tell us. I got my little trusty notebook right here and uh, we'll figure it out, we'll, we'll find out. It says one minute and one second. Oh my gosh, make sure my um, audio is turned up and then we can talk about it. Whew, info snacks today, right? Link again, I'll give it to you um, right here. I know it's going by fast. So I'll just give it a couple times here. Ooh, yeah, I got bumps too. Like I just, my stomach is just, ugh. 26 seconds. Hopefully they're on time. It's been an emotional roller coaster today. So, I hope you guys are seat belted in. Eight seconds to go and it should be, they'll probably start with a little ad. Stephanie says, Snacks, you've given us a feast. It's been hours today, hasn't it? Still says off air, so we'll give him a few seconds here. Matt McGregor says, pretty sure Carol Baskin was involved. <laughs> Half Rudder says, you're awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Half Rudder and Matt, for the super chat. I appreciate it. And thanks to everybody who's joining me again. It has been quite the day, hasn't it? Oh, my, okay, I will do that, Mr. Linda. 
my number needs to change. Our family's growing. And on that note, while we're, we're, um, while we're waiting, if you like to be a subscriber of It's a Crime, you can just hit that subscribe button and hit the like button and hit the share button. And uh, we can all celebrate in Chad being detained. Rockin' Robin says, celebrate good times. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. I got to change my numbers. Look at that. I have to do all these things. Um, it says off air still, so it, sometimes it'll take a minute or two before they come on. I'm just going to refresh just in case. And if you guys need the link, I will give it to you as well. But you know I'll be talking about it. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn it up. There's the link. I just, I just sent it in there. And I'll do it again. Whew. And I'm going to refresh this one again. Still says off air. So it'll take a couple minutes. Crystal Fitzgerald says justice. Yes. Yeah, I can't wait for the mugshot either. So if you're just joining me, we're just about to see the press or hear the press conference regarding J uh, Tylee and JJ. Um, it says literally press conference regarding missing children. Um, you haven't much much. I just started six minutes ago. I was doing a recap from this morning and all the stuff that's been going on. So we are waiting um, actually, let me see if I can click on this and get a better live stream um, link that I got today. Yeah, it's still... I'll give you a direct one so it goes right to that. Just one sec, guys. I'll give it to you. It's coming in hot, coming in hot. Whew. Country Cross Stitcher says, thank you for keeping us up to date, especially us overseas who don't get the news stations. I've been crying for the kids as we celebrate Chad's arrest. I know, I know, I, it, it's like, it's bittersweet, isn't it? On one hand, we're enjoying Chad getting char charged, and the other hand, it's, you just want to ball like a baby. Manglia44 says, I feel sad and sick right now, still holding hope. I know, me too. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you all. And thanks, thanks Michelle, for uh, hopping on to memberships. That's what the green thing is, is to join my membership as well. So, okay, is it starting? Whew. Are you guys nervous? I'm nervous. I don't see it starting yet. Why am I not seeing it starting? Matt Bond says, no, they aren't there yet. Okay, still off air. Okay, whew. We'll just be a couple more minutes in it, and then we can see what they're doing. Um, we're waiting for the um, press conference. Okay, hang on. I'm going to give you guys another one. They're just setting up. You can't even hear anything, and I have it turned up. There we go, that's better. So, much time, uh, to this case. so they're thanking uh, everybody right now. In this case, Kylie Ryan and uh, Joshua Vallow. Um, I first want to say that we understand that there's going to be a lot of questions, um, but unfortunately we're, we're not taking any questions at this time. No questions they're taking. Everybody that this is an active uh, and ongoing case, um, and as soon as we uh, have more 
answers. We'll be able to hold another press conference and we'll be able to answer those for you. So no questions that they're going to let? Um, I just wanted to recap today's events. Um, so today, uh, the Rexburg Police Department, as well as the uh, Fremont County Sheriff's Department and the FBI uh, conducted a search warrant in the 200 block of North 1900 East in uh, Fremont County. Uh, it's also the residence of uh, Chad Daybell. Talking uh, about the residence. Resident. Um, during the search of the property, uh, investigators uh, discovered um, what appeared to be unidentified human remains uh, and an autopsy will be uh, conducted. Um, shortly after the remains were discovered, uh, Chad Daybell was taken into custody and booked into the Fremont County Jail. Uh, there, Mr. Daybell uh, will have his initial hearing tomorrow uh, morning at 11 a.m. at the Fremont County Courthouse in a closed hearing. Um, I will be emailing uh, everybody out. I'll get a list from everybody that's here as well uh, if they're wanting a copy of Chad's uh, Daybell's booking photo. Yeah, we do. Um, I'm now going to turn the time over to Sheriff Humphreys to discuss uh, the logistics of the courthouse hearing for tomorrow. <clears throat> they're just talking about the identified so human remains. Hearing tomorrow. Will hearing be tomorrow. Hearing. And uh, what closed we do hearing. is provide a video feed for those who are interested, which will be on YouTube. Uh, I video feed have on that YouTube. Address as of tonight, but it will be available in the morning, and uh, that will be sent out if we have your contact information, uh, so that you can view the hearing uh, at 11 o'clock. Uh, this is primarily for you know security issues and because of the virus the courts are still uh, closed down to the public and this is one way that we can provide a means for you to see what's going on thank you he doesn't look too happy i just want to thank everybody for coming out um we've needed your help just as much as uh you know as the public and the family and the friends and everybody that's been so dedicated to this case um so again, we can't thank you. Yeah, it is so low, just in the uh, general. Um, as soon as we have, like I said, more uh, answers, we'll be able to do another um, hearing and, and, and let you guys know. So. Can you, can you clarify what uh, the charges are for? Or charge? um, at that time, it's, it hasn't been determined, uh, and that's prosecutors. Uh, Rob Wood will be discussing this probably tomorrow. Okay, so. Would you be able to clarify what he was supposed to talk um, I can't answer that at this time again because I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Um, They're not the answering the... questions that we have, uh, we'll have to save for a later date. Okay, uh, let's so just see. Uh, if you'd like to, yes. So what did the address say in Fremont County uh, to see if it was felony charge with no bond at this point? Uh, I'm not 100% positive on that. They're <laughs> not answering anything. Because we read something about felony with no bond. Um, and we'll update you, like I said, as soon as we have more. That was basically, it was a couple minutes long. Okay, so they just said um, that this morning they found unidentified human remains. Shortly thereafter, he said that Chad Daybell was uh, taken into custody. Um, he said tomorrow in morning, 11 a.m., Chad has a hearing. It's closed hearing. And he says if anybody wanted the booking photo, we, he's going to be able to take their names to get a booking photo. And he said there's going to be a video a feed tomorrow on YouTube. He said he's not going to know that until tomorrow morning. And um, he said, yeah, basically that, 11 a.m. So let's just see. I thought it would be a little bit more, but that's okay. Um, he didn't seem to know a whole lot, even on the charges, so. I'd have to replay that to see that, um. Yeah, the questions were very. Uh, young man, 20s. The very questions were not really questions, is it? Um. Rebecca says, Linda, I need help later from you. I sent an email. Okay, I'll take a look, Rebecca. No problem. Thank you. So, yeah, it was only a couple minutes long. I thought it would have been a little bit longer. However, we could go and find a few other things. So, 
If you guys don't know, Chad has been booked at 521 p.m. into the Freeman, Fremont County Jail. He is, um, he is charged with destruction or concealment of evidence. Yeah, they don't really say have, they just said human remains in an autopsy. So I don't know, does that mean one? Is that two? Um, okay, let's just see what else here. I'm, I'm looking forward to the, bo the booking shot for sure. The mug shot. Okay, Justin Lum says... Rexburg Police Department tight-lipped. This press conference is the same as earlier, basically. Chad Daybell appears in court Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. That's what we know. YouTube video feed will be provided for Chad Daybell court hearing tomorrow. Uh, East Idaho News will stream it live. So that's at 11 a.m., Um, that's what we have so far, guys. Thought it'd be a little bit more. Thank you, Crystal. I, she says, I wonder if Chad built a portal in his jail cell. Well, he's going to have a lot of time to do so, apparently. So what time is that? Your, my time? Okay, so... Right now it's 7.42 p.m. and it's the same time at um, Rexburg. So it'll be the same thing. He's, okay, let me, let me rewind this again, one sec. And Sheriff Len Humphreys from the Fremont County Sheriff's Office. Um, I first would like to start Just out. Just gonna play this again uh, after he thanks everybody. So much to say that we understand that there's gonna be a lot of questions. This is an active uh, their press conference. We'll be able to answer okay. uh, the Rexburg Police Department as well as the uh, Fremont County Sheriff's Department. And the just FBI, playing it again to see. Uh, conducted a search warrant in the 200 block of North Knight. Conducted a search warrant. In, uh, Fremont County. Uh, it's also at Chad's house. Um, during the search of the property, uh, investigators uh, discovered um, what appeared to be unidentified human remains. So he said. Let me say this again, just so that we could see what he says, how he worded it. What appeared to be unidentified human remains. And an autopsy will be conducted. So he didn't say autopsies. He said autopsy. So I'm not, I'm not sure. Channel 27 Heidi Vandenberg says, you certainly worked hard today. Thank you so much. And thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's been a busy day for all of us, <laughs> hasn't it? Everybody. Welcome, Sharon, to the membership as well. So, um, So he did say an autopsy, but I don't know um, if there if it's actual plural. He just says an autopsy will be done. So maybe he's just really careful. So three one two Craig says two tarps near two different holes means two bodies. Yeah, they didn't specify. Court TV, okay, let me see Court TV. It's like a goose chase. A wild, wild goose chase. Let's see what they said. Court TV says two. I'm going to see, I'm going to pull it up right now. With music.
So that's one thing, my Mac plays excellent audio, that's for sure. Just let the uh, Latin music Okay, court TV, okay. Why aren't they playing this? This is the longest ad in the world. Okay. Welcome back to Big Breaking News. We are coming tonight out of East Idaho. Salem is the town. Chad Daybell's property being searched by investigators. They found human remains. And now Chad Daybell, Lori Vallow Daybell's husband, has been booked and is locked up in the county jail. Yeah. Let me bring back in my colleagues, my team, our team of legal journalists here at Court TV. Chanley Painter, uh, this is such a huge development tonight. It's so difficult to okay. put perspective on it because this is a case that has been going on for months and months and months. So and I see Chad Daybell under arrest. A.M. Casing. Yes, more than eight months, Vinny. Ty Lee Ryan and J.J. Vallow went missing last September. And but for their grandparents, J.J.'s grandparents, Kay and Larry Woodcock, calling for a welfare check after not hearing from then seven-year-old J.J. Vallow that this would not have happened back that happened in november and in the very next day that, of this welfare check lori and chad is doing a recap the home so this investigation has been ongoing for several months with pleas from the family of tylee and jj for any information about their whereabouts and with lori and chad not speaking to the authorities not saying where their children are you guys are so helpful lori thank you so much arrested for child abandonment. Uh, my Twitter handle is crime underscore it. County jail with five pending Think. charges. Now this is a huge <laughs> development. This, what happens today, changes everything. Moving forward for Lori and Chad. Yeah, uh, Julie Grant, um, you're the former prosecutor like I am. I mean, prosecutors in the neighboring county. So I was going to see what they're saying here. here. Uh, they've got a um, with the folks over in yeah, in the beginning today, all I heard was human remains. The authorities said human remains. I never heard um, even the authorities confirm. So I, I don't know, but I want to hear them say it on here. That's yeah, so what everybody's saying is Court TV saying there's two. There's a big, big deal today. This is a big, big step. Yeah, I can't wait to hear it. Okay, maybe I'll go on the, yeah, Court TV's Twitter page. Okay, let's see that. So they said they could be remains of the two children. Yeah, okay, so I'll read you guys exactly that it says on Court TV because all my awesome peeps in chat is talking about that so let's go to that and it says on court tv breaking sources say two bodies have been found on a property belonging to chad daybell husband of so-called doomsday cult mom and Lori vallow daybell so yeah i mentioned this earlier today like they went they honed in right in the spot kind of they they weren't like searching his 3.75 acre lot they just kind of honed in one so they must have known something and chad will be in court tomorrow at 11 a.m hope he has a nice little sleep we'll get rested up for what the judge is going to say to him Um, Casey says, I don't want to infringe in the privacy of Chad's other children, but are they grown? Yeah, they are. He's a grandfather too. Chad's a grand grandpa. So 11 o'clock tomorrow on YouTube, they're going to give, they said they're going to give the, um, link tomorrow, but Nate Eaton from 
East Idaho News said that he's going to be streaming it live. So, yeah, they they what they said all day is that they found human remains. Court TV is saying on their Twitter they're saying two bodies have been found on the property. That's what Court TV is saying. But today, um, all I saw was um, human remains. They used it very, very, very basic. I mean, all of us are thinking the same thing, right? We're thinking who that is. But we don't know. And I did see earlier... Um, I did see earlier, I was sneaking on. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> um, what was I going to say now? I was going to talk about Chad. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, the press conference, Mary, you just said you missed the press conference. It was so quick. It was really just saying they uh, ha found identified human remains. There's going to be an autopsy. Chad's going into jail tomorrow at 11 a.m. And... Um, it's going to be a closed hearing, but Nate Eaton said he's going to be there and he, uh, let me see what Nate said. He said, YouTube video feed will be provided for Chad Daybell court hearing tomorrow. We'll stream it live. Electronic medium says on his own property. Don't these guys ever watch It's a Crime? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, like, what are you thinking? Tammy died in October. So Tammy was alive in September. Tammy died on October the 19th. Thank you, Sarah. Shannon says, hit the like button if you want to close Chad's portal. <laughs> he can dream all about his little corner portal all he wants now. Thank you, Joanne. So some of them, some people are coming in. They said, what did they find? They found human remains um, today at Chad's property. <sighs> Yes, um, Ozzie Heather's asking, didn't Tammy go away before her death? Yes, she was urged to go to her parents' house in Utah before her death. And that was... I'm going to double check that. Because I know... Um, that she was urged to do that. Was that October 4th? Chad has owned the property from my understanding since 2015 they moved there. Yes, uh, Amber says, were the kids missing when Chad took his kids to Disneyland? Yes, Tylee and JJ were missing. So Tylee was last seen on September 8th. JJ was last seen on September 23rd. And Chad went to Disneyland at the end of November. Thank you, Carrie. She says, thank you for everything you do. Thank you so much. And thank you to you guys for watching because without you, there would not be this channel. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay, hang on. You guys are going to keep saying this until I fix it. So let's fix it. Um, yeah, so at beginning of October, somebody was saying that um, in the chat that um, Chad had urged Tammy to go 
to her parents. And then she was, um, remember she was actually, had a gun pointed at her. And that I believe was the 9th of October. But I'm going to get onto the, there. Um, I'm going to get onto the timeline. There, is, is that better? Woo, you guys are here when I change the sign. Our family is growing. Hello, family. You guys are live while I change it. That's pretty fun. Thank you so much. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, let me grab the timeline because I have a couple timelines and let's talk about that. Because now that's going to bug me about when when she was asked to go. Uh, Kay is holding a press conference tonight. Does anyone have the info? Good question. Does anybody have the info with Kay and Larry Woodcock? Look at you guys saying congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, I have like hundreds of pages on this case, hundreds, especially because I script everything. So let me find this, you guys, because this is important. Oh, here we go. Just wait for it to load here. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you guys for the super chat. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching my videos. Really, really appreciate you guys. 100% appreciate all of you. You guys are awesome. And you keep it classy, so it's good. Okay, so let's get into the timeline. Now, October 2nd is when Brandon Boudreaux was uh, taken a shot at, right? But October 1st is when Lori rented her... Um, what do you call it? Her storage unit. It's been a long day. Long day. Okay, let's see. Let's go to October. Shady stuff. <sighs> months and months and months. You just hope for a really, really good outcome. You just hope for that. I, oh, I'm getting a portal. I have a portal emojis coming. You wait. You guys are going to really like it. It's coming. Okay. We are looking in October. So October 9th is when Tammy had the encounter with a masked man. Okay. October 4th. Thank you to whoever suggested that in my... Um, in my chat, really good memory. Um, October 4th, Tammy Daybell visited her parents in Springville, Utah about 15 days before she died. She was healthy and doing Zumba and clogging classes according to her dad. So I remember reading somewhere else that Chad had encouraged her to go see her parents. So there's some weird things here. Lisa says, can we have a party when you get to 144,000 subscribers, hopefully before July 22nd? That's, that's the goal. Then we can say we hit 144, right? Patty and Pink, welcome to my crime ring. Yeah, the plot thickens. I'm telling you guys, when we go, when I go through the timeline and then we get new information, I have to comb through the timeline again because it's like, oh, that will hook up to that, that'll hook up to that, that links to that, you know? If you're just joining me right now um, and you're not sure what's going on, Chad Daybell has been arrested. 
He has been charged with destruction or concealment of evidence. He's going to be showing his butt in court tomorrow at 11 a.m. And I'm sure he's going to have a rough one tonight. And um, that's okay. And what else? Um, his property's been searched. They found human remains. They haven't identified the remains yet, but they will. It's uh, the officer uh, said, the authorities said that they're going to be doing an autopsy. And his vehicle's impounded. Chad's impounded. <laughs> and and um, that's really great news that it's moving forward. On the opposite side, it is horrific if that is what... <sighs> If that's what we think it is. And um, I, I just, I, I don't know. I mean, we don't know right right now. I mean, who else could it be at the same time? And at the same time, we don't know. D says, I want to know who talked and why they finally came clean. I also want to hear Lori's reaction and that of her mother and sister. I was actually watching that uh, yesterday because I was, I'm doing a Melanie versus Melanie video and it's coming. And I had to go review some of the footage. And I was reviewing and I saw um, Lori's mom, Janice, talk in summer. Remember when they're like, oh, Alex, he's such a great guy. Like, he's so great. I was like, have you seen his rap sheet? Like, aggravated assault, plus he killed Charles, plus he's taken a shot at Brandon. Like, who are you are you that blinded by your son? Like, I understand, but holy moly. Carrie Livingston says Scott Reich says the autopsies will take 48 to 72 hours to be completed. Well, that'd be nice and quick. Are you guys seeing, you guys aren't seeing a black screen, are you? Shouldn't. Just hit refresh. Makes me wonder if Ian Polowski had anything to do with this discovery. Well, somebody said something because they were quite honed in on what they were finding, or maybe they just, you know, put two and two together. Tracy says, I'm still going with her niece. Melanie finally spilled because Ian convinced her. Melanie Sherman says, Brandon is probably breathing a sigh of relief that he got his kids away to safety when he did. Yes, I agree. Ian is sleeping with un one eye open, Sarah Adams says. <laughs> Sunflower Lover says, all I can see is a black screen. Just hit refresh and see if that works. If not, close out, come back in. And maybe that'll fix it when, on, when all else fails, right? Now, um, do you guys have, people were talking about Kay coming on. Kay Woodcock. Thank you, Brenda. This is the second time that they searched uh, Chad's house. The first time was on January 3rd. And they were searching. They got 43 pieces of evidence that they took out. And they were searching a shed from what I read this morning.
prayers for the older brother. Yes, Colby. If that is the case and they confirm who we think they are, um, it's not going to be good. Slade Griffin says, October 2nd, 2019, Lori arrived with Chad Daybell, gave Lori a slap on the butt on the way out. Stayed four minutes. Yes. If you see in my videos, I point that out very, very well. And I I make a lot of reference how he's still married at the time. I have lots of timelines on that. Darden Creek, thank you. <laughs> I like the little sticker guy. <laughs> Yeah, there's quite a bit. They did have a lot of snow on the ground, didn't they, when they first searched on January 3rd? And they were more in, in, well, I guess they were both, right? They were outside and they were inside. Maui Girl says, I think Lori talked because she was afraid of what Chad was going to say when questioned about Tammy's autopsy. Well, I mean, I don't know. Anything could be there right now. This is funny. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. I'll tell you something about your name in a minute. <laughs> um, was that before the conference just now? Read the two bodies. That was on court TV that said that, but in the conference they didn't. They just said human remains. And what, why I said to say about your name is this morning I said about Chad being woken up at 7 a.m. You know, they came to his house at 7 a.m. and I said, wakey, wakey. And I thought to myself, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Okay, so if you're just joining me, and there's lots coming in, Chad Daybell has been arrested and charged with destruction or concealment of evidence. His property has been, been searched since 7 a.m. this morning. Chad got arrested at 11.30 a.m., or he got in, detained. He was in custody at 11.30 a.m. His vehicle was impounded. They found human remains. There was a backhoe on the property. There was tarps. There was a tent as well. And they are saying that there's human remains and now they're going to an, uh, get an autopsy and hopefully soon we will find out what the heck is going on. So on one hand, we are celebrating. On the other hand, not so much. Thank you, Manglia. Oh, is mugshot got released? Okay, hang on. Where is it? We need we need a link link to it if you can show me his mugshot. That's quick. Nate was thinking tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me see. <laughs> Should I laugh? That's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> he actually has kind of a smile still on his face. I'd like to smack that right off him. Did you see it? I can't believe I laughed so hard at that. But did you see the look on his face? His, uh, okay, this is my opinion. I'm just looking at him like he kind of has a little smirk like Lori. I can't even. Like... I'm going to retweet that. Whew. 
Well, there's his mug shot. Yep, uh, if you're just tuning in, we just got Chad's mug shot and he is being charged with destruction or concealment of evidence. He's going to be showing up in court in, for a hearing tomorrow at 11 a.m. Yeah, I think the the anger is um, the anger is universal. Oh, sorry, I'll I'll do the yeah sure. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I'm chatting and then I forgot to give it to you guys. I'll give you the. You know what bothers me? It bothers me the look on their faces after. That's what that's what. Like, what are you smirking for? Did you get it? He kind of smiling, like even with his eyes a little bit. Smug shot. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, let's all rate Chad Daybell now on his rating, his own rating system. Where'd he be? Minus five double D. I'll do the link again because it's probably going super fast in chat. Well, now we can even say with him, um, they both think they're gods and they don't have to eat, so don't eat then. Okay, I'll, I'll try and pull it again. Hang on. No halo, buddy. Yeah, July 22nd came early for them, didn't it? He does. He looks like he's smirking in he, his eyes even. They're just like, I, I can't explain it to you. From Daybell to jail cell, Adrian says. <laughs> Daybells are ringing. Yeah, I, you know, um, I know you guys are suggesting to slow-mo on the chat, but I'm on my phone and it doesn't work like that. I've already talked to YouTube about it. But now that I'm upgrading my live stream this month, we are going to have slow chat. We are going to have sharing sharing my screen. We're having comments pop up. It's going to be up-leveled, so don't worry. I know it's so fast. I know. So now let's see what else. Um, let's see if we can pull up because people are talking about... I can't imagine Kay Woodcock doing a press conference tonight, but maybe... They must be going through a horrible, horrible time. I mean, they don't even know the answer, right? They don't know. Um, they don't know the answer. Um, link to mugshot. Mugshot coming your way. Link to mugshot coming your way. Ready? Crystal Armstrong says, it's a crime. Hello from Alabama. Hello. I just wanted to say hi and that I love your channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. We are our cozy group tonight of 2,700 people.
Matt Bond says, friend who was studying to be an examiner said it could be decomp to bones in one grave or they found one of the two and still looking for the other, hence the grids. <sighs> Barbara Loveless says, do they let you keep your dentures in the slammer or do they count as a weapon? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Welcome to the new members in the crime ring as well. Yeah, I saw that about the no bail. Now I can't remember where I read it because I've th gone through a couple things today. A lot of people from Canada in here tonight, too. Welcome. October 2nd, Lori's wedding ring came in from... October 2nd, Lori ordered her ring on Amazon, I believe. It was October 2nd that she ordered it. Tomorrow morning, he will be at the hearing. Yes, this live will be up after um, we're done. Welcome so much to my crime rings too, and welcome to those who are coming in. A lot of Canadians tonight, you guys. Hello. Wow, a lot of Canadians. This is awesome. Yes, there is a mugshot. I'm going to give you another one. Let's all have a little look at him. I'll post it in my community tab too because we all got to see that and celebrate. It's a very sad day. It's a happy day in, in of sorts, but it is very, very heart-wrenching. I very much feel for the family. Um, they're in hell right now because they don't know what the answer is. Carol Moser says, when was the trip to Disney? Maybe it was to give Alex a chance to bury bodies without Chad kids being around. Okay, so thank you for the super chat. Um, so what, what ha uh, happened is November 26th was the search warrant. November 27th, Chad and Lori left. But they, Chad went to Disneyland um, around that Thanksgiving so the 28th, like end of November. And then Lori and um, Chad left on December 1st to Hawaii. So it was at the end there that they were going. So we'll see. I mean, I wish I was part of that watching... Um, Chad being interviewed, let's just say. Penny says, Linda, why would he go back to his home where bodies are buried? Makes no sense to me. I'm wondering that too. However, I'm wondering if that wasn't the original spot. That's just me wondering. Um, I do want to see, because before we could see Chad's uh, property in 2015 that he bought it and now there's only one picture so I would like to see the rest um, because I want to know if that little fire pit area when he put that in I hope you guys I, I don't know part of me just hopes it's just some bad dream and at, at any rate, whoever it is in the ground that they found remains um, is somebody's loved one. Welcome, Debbie. And, and T. Hovdi, I think. Hopefully I got that right. Um, okay, hang on. Let's see what else we got here. You know, you know what keeps going through my mind is how all this goes down, yet the picture in my mind 
is of Chad in his freaking ukulele. His ukulele and her hula hooping. Okay, the fire pit has been there since 2015? Okay, that's good to know. Frank says, maybe the house is built on an old Indian burial ground. Well, I thought of that, like, well, maybe, like, are there remains, um, you know, have they been there before? They're kind of in the country, kind of looking. Welcome, Haley. So, it's going to be a long couple days until we find out. Um, can I update everybody that's going on? Yes. Chad got arrested. He got arrested. He's charged with destruction or concealment of evidence. He will be in court tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Nate Eaton of East Idaho News said he's going to be um, streaming that. Let me see. YouTube video feed will be provided for Chad Daybell court hearing tomorrow. East Idaho News will stream it live. So that'll be tomorrow at 11 a.m. So we'll see who said what, but they were, I mean, they honed in to that spot and that's a 3.75 acre land so they knew where to go from the looks of it um no the time zone is mountain standard time so if it's 11 a.m it'll be 10 a.m uh, pacific time Mountain Standard Time, so 11 a.m. tomorrow, um, 10 a.m. Pacific, and then it'd be 1 p.m. Central. And then from the UK, I don't know, you guys. You're going to have to help me on that one. And he was a grave digger. Yes, he was for years and years. So, oh, I'm behind there on the, yes, 1, 1 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Eastern, that's what I meant. I heard that um, Andrew's asking, Andrew's asking, are the grandparents holding a press conference? I heard that, but I don't know where that would be. And I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if they would do that. But I've, I've heard chatter about it, but I don't know where they would do that. If you guys know that answer, please let me know. We don't know who talked. We just know that they knew where to go. And it was no confirmation of who it is. They are going to um, do an autopsy. Thank you, Shell. Chuck says, my great grandfather was a grave digger. Don't be hating. Well, we're not hating. We're just saying he's, he was a grave digger for years and years and years. He knows how to do it. And that's for sure. Family members, okay, Carrie, where are you reading that? I, I, 
Okay, so Grandma did. A, okay, Joey Faith says yes. Grandma did a press conference. I watched it. Where did you watch it? Priscilla Hidingsfield, thank you. Easy Family um, has his mugshot. Yeah, I did. I did give the here. I'll give you guys the link again if you guys want to take a look at his nice smug shot, as somebody lovingly calls it. Recap: Chad Daybell is arrested and charged with destruction or concealment of evidence. He's going to be at court tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Nate Eaton from East Idaho News will be live streaming it. I know it's going really fast. It's going to be a busy week, isn't it? I hope, I just hope. Time zone will be 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time tomorrow morning. Chad's lived there since 2015. For a short time, he was living with Lori after they got married, and um, or before, really. And he went back not too long ago. Yes, he has been charged with destruction or concealment of evidence. That is confirmed. Um, let's just check. It's awful. It says, okay, East Idaho News says authorities didn't release any new details regarding the arrest of Chad Daybell during a press conference Tuesday evening. During the conference, Rexburg Police Assistant Chief Gary Hagen reiterated Daybell had been arrested and booked into jail in Fremont Com County um, following the discovery of unidentified human remains on Daybell's Salem property. Daybell was arrested for destruction or concealment of evidence, according to online court records. Hagen also said an autopsy will be conducted on the remains before more information is released. Fremont County Sheriff Len Humphreys said Daybell will appear in court Wednesday morning and the hearing would be streamed live on YouTube. Chad and his new wife, Lori Vallow Daybell, are being investigated by the Idaho Attorney General's Office for conspiracy, attempted murder, and murder in connection to the death of Chad's former spouse, T Tammy Daybell. Lori da Daybell's two children, Joshua J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan, have been missing since September, and Lori is in the Madison County Jail on two counts of desertion and non-support of a dependent child. Stephanie says, I hope they rat on each other. Me too. Uh, Fox News, Fox 10 News tonight at 10 p.m. Grandparents to speak. Oh, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to handle that one. There's no way. Oh, here we go. 20 seconds ago, Justin Lum said and confirmed multiple sources close to the case 
tell me the human remains discovered on Chad Daybell's property are remains of two different people. And there's a side shot now of... <laughs> It's not funny. That's not funny. But it is kind of funny. You want the profile shot? Let's give it to you guys. Let's give you the profile shot. I don't even know whether to laugh or cry sometimes. There's his, there's his side shot. I'm not sure what he's smirking about, though. This is not looking good. Uh, yeah, so Justin Lum, Justin Lum just updated his feed on Twitter with the profile shots, and he said, um, let me read it again. Uh, let me just climb up top here. Okay. Multiple sources, okay, he has, says confirmed. He says multiple sources close to the case tell me the human remains discovered on Chad Daybell's property are remains of two different people. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, did anybody believe that the kids were still alive? I was holding out hope. Um, we don't know who these remains are yet, though, you guys. Officially, we don't know. Um, it's not looking good. Live press conference now? Where? I just, I don't even. Where do you guys see that? Fox 10? see it yet. Which live feed on Fox 10? I don't think I'm going to be able to handle it if I hear his name. I don't think so. Can somebody please give me the link where you're seeing something?
I was hoping that the Frank Boff says, I was hoping the kids were safe and out of the country. Um, Jamie says you posted the link. Okay, let me scroll back. You might have to do it a few times. I'm scrolling, I can't see a link. Abri Rivera says, did I see the update for Sebastian Castro? I saw the last update I saw for little Sebastian was that they found an article of clothing and a phone. I didn't, I didn't see the rest. If there is, is there more? Fox 10 Facebook. Okay, but I need the link because I'm on there and I don't see anything. Yeah, side side uh, picture of Chad. Right, right there. It is horrific, and I don't know if I can even handle hearing the actual name. Update, if you're just joining us, there's 2,600 people in here. If you're just joining, oh, by the way, give a like to this video as well, because I see that there's 1.1 thousand and 2.6 thousand in, in here. So give a little like, because we have Chad in jail, and that is, uh, that is a start. Um, this is live. I can tell you right now that Chad Daybell has been arrested. He's uh, arrested for a charge with destruction or concealment of evidence at this time. They have found unidentified human remains that are going for an autopsy. And um, his vehicle has been detained. They were searching his property since 7 o'clock this morning. And... Um, And now we're just wondering what the heck is going on and who the remains are. They're going to have, uh, so Chad's going tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time in front of, he's, he's going to be in court tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. And Nate Eaton of East Idaho News is actually going to live stream it. Thank you, Michael. This, this case is quite crazy for sure. There's been all kinds of twists and turns and it's not over yet. And I have a video on the both Melanies that I will be putting up and you're gonna see some discrepancies in there too. So might as well lay it all on the table at this point. So that'll be 11 a.m. that Chad's going to be um, in court and that is 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, and that's going to be 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, yeah, if I can get on in the morning, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it together. We'll do it together. Thank you, Kimberly. Welcome, Melissa, to my crime ring.
yeah, there's still not, um, there's still nothing on Tammy's that we know. We haven't had the autopsy released. <sighs> okay, what am I seeing? I'm trying to sort out the mess, that's for sure. Georgia says, as de devastating as this is, we might finally get some answers and these two crazies might actually be faced with justice for that, that they have done. That's the most frustrating thing, right? Is we're all saying, just tell us where the kids are. Just tell us where they are. Oh, this is just awful. Um, Pamela says, "Are you okay?" I think we all, I think we all need a hug. Um, you know what? I always hold out hope. I always do, and even with Gannon, um, I always held hope. I knew it wasn't going to be good, and even when I found out, I knew I knew what the answer was with Gannon, and then when I still found out the answer. I was a freaking mess. And um, I was doing pretty good with Tylee and JJ up until the point that Melanie Gibb did her interview. Then for the first time I broke down on that. And um, then I thought, okay, well, I'm still gonna hold out hope, right? Cause you can always have, there's always something. Um, and we don't know yet. They just said, they just said that they found human remains. There's been Justin Lum, um, on his Twitter, he does the mug shots, so did Nate Eaton, but he also said that multiple sources close to the case tell me the human remains discovered on Chad Daybell's property are remains of two different people. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear the answer, but I want to hear the answer. You know what I'm saying? Like, there were three tarps on the ground and two tents set up earlier today when I watched the helicopter video. Yes, and I counted four tarps and one tent, so that could have been two temp tents, yeah. Um, it's hard to see too, right? And Nate Eaton's going to be covering that tomorrow. Adrian says, Chad will break first, then they'll blame each other. I, I, think, I, I think I would agree with that statement. Thank you for the super chat. I, I do think that's going to... I think Chad would talk sooner than her, but who knows at this point. Uh, sure, you want the post to my membership? No problem. Um, I'll give you that there. So it's youtube.com slash it's a crime slash join if you want to be part of my membership. Alyssa says, I seen on the Facebook group the grandparents confirmed one is JJ. Can you please, please tell me the link on that? I would really, really appreciate that. Um, slow saucer, thank you. <laughs> I like the little sticker that made me smile. Um, short version you just got here. Chad Daybell's arrested. He's charged with destruction or concealment of evidence. There's human remains that found on the property. They were there since 7 a.m. this morning searching. Chad's vehicle got impounded. He's in jail. Tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, 
He's going to be, there's a hearing, it's a closed hearing, but they are going to be streaming it live with Nate Eaton from East Idaho News. Hopefully that was really quick. My email, it's a crime and a shame at gmail.com. Oh, this is not good. I, I hope not. I hope not. But if family is saying it, Melissa says, imagine being the neighbors and knowing those poor babes were there the whole time as it's looking to be. Thank you for the super chat. Um, you know what's the most disgusting? If it is, if this is, if this is what we think it is, the most dis disgusting thing of all is their smug look on their faces and being in court and and just her with her hair, head up and smiling and smirking, I, I swear to God, like, I just want to rip that look off her face. And Oh, I'm going to, Rose says, Linda, please follow this case all the way through to their convictions. You, no problem. That and them and Gan and I promise to the end. So, and guess what? I have more info snacks on the other people involved too that I'm going to expose. So it's just going to keep, I'm just going to lay it out. Did you guys see their wedding photos? Not the popular ones. There's one that she has like a gun kind of like thing to chat. I was like, what the heck is that all about? Welcome to my crime ring. Those of you who have a little green, green highlighter. <sighs> so, Chad's arrested. They released his mug shot I'll show you the side one the front one is a joke because he's smirking in there and even his eyes are kind of like it looks like half smiling to me it's a crime and a shame at gmail.com is my email So, um, I'll check my email. I don't even know what to say, you guys. I don't even know what to say. I, like, I, you know, you know what your heart says and then you just, like, you're just scared to look. Okay, let's see. How could you even be so evil? Um, I can't see what else. <sighs> This is just like, I, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to say. So we already have Justin Lum. That's, we went through that. Michael Johnson says, Linda, hope your hubby is ready for a lot of pillow talk tonight. Bless your heart. And he looks so sad. And now I'm sad. It's, you know what? Um, you just, we all take this on, right? 
and the amount of research I do on them and the timeline, I mean, the goal is to find the kids. The goal is to expose the truth. And you always wonder it, wonder in the back of your head, like, you know, maybe, they'll, maybe they're okay. Maybe there's not these people that are that maniacal that they would do that to children. Thank you, Michaela. And so, you know, you just, it's disgusting. Hang on, you guys. Okay, hang on. I'm just going to see. Um, I just got to return an email on this. One second. Oh yeah, I have tissues right here. If you saw me earlier today, I was putting them under the armpits just like, well, Letitia put her in her pants, but you know, I was trying to make a joke so I can lighten the mood a little bit because I can't handle some of this news that just keeps coming down the pipe. And, um, I mean, what's going to happen when they, when they confirm who, who the, who the uh, remains are and the for poor family that's going to have to deal with it and the hell they have to go through in the meantime till they get the positive identification and that's not fair. It's not fair. Yeah, I'll, you know what, I am going to. Let's move them up. Sorry, Evelyn, just right there for now. Just there for now. Guys, I'm scared to look. I'm scared to look. Um, Nate Eaton says, I'm told detectives have ended their search at the Daybell home, but deputies will be stationed there nonstop through the night. The search will continue tomorrow morning. Welcome, Pamela. Abby says, do you think if it is the kids that Lori's family, especially the niece, will step up and tell the truth or keep denying? What about her husband? Whew. Well, first, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know that Melanie Pulowski, in my opinion, will tell the truth. I don't know. I don't think she will. But that's because I just did a Melanie versus Melanie video today, and I noticed discrepancies. And so that's why I'm, in my opinion, feeling that way. Oh, I can't even repeat that.
Yeah. Um, Laura Lee says, okay, I lost interest with Anissa. I'm outdated. You got you got to catch up on her because there's some more stuff coming and I'm going to be putting Melanie versus Melanie video out. We will find out. I mean, <sighs> okay, so I am reading the screenshot, um, but I'm going to wait to say anything about who the remains are. I feel like, I don't know. Welcome, Simser Lee. Sherlock Holmes says, sending you a hug from UK, Linda, so sad. If it's not the children, it's another two people in the whole mix. That's exactly it. Thank you for the super chat. That's exactly it. Um, it's somebody's loved one. Whoever it is, it's somebody's loved one. And we just, I don't know. I wonder who said what, how they got there this morning. <sighs> Hang on, I'm just reading something, you guys. I'm just reading some screenshots. Radiant light photos, welcome. Welcome to all those who just joined the crime ring. I'm really excited for you guys. It's great. It's great in there. It's great on my channel too. You guys are awesome. <sighs> yes, Shana, I am just seeing that. Um, some people are screenshotting and emailing it to me. Okay, where was Justin confirming that? I'm on Justin Lum's uh, Twitter right now. I don't see anything updated other than the remains are of two other people half an hour ago it says multiple sources close to the case tell me the human remains discovered on chad daybell's property are remains of two different people Yeah, I mean, any way we slice this is not looking good. But I will say, what has bothered me for quite some time, besides the fact that the kids were missing, was how Chad's walking around, Lottie dying everywhere. Uh, Adrian asks, how long may it take to get DNA results back? I'm told 48 to 72 hours. But who knows? I don't know. We could find out really, really quickly. I think we found out 
what what case was that where we found out quite quickly who it was? There's no confirmation uh, from authorities other than um, they found remains. Yeah, dental records as well, of course, yeah. Yeah, they went straight to that area, didn't they? There wasn't like, let's check 3.75 acres. Let's just go right there. Okay, let's see where else we can get from you guys. Don Hayes says, how can a mother sit in court with a, such a smug look knowing this? I can't imagine hurting my child on accident. Yeah. There was a canine dog. Yeah, there was today. That's what Nate Eaton said from up above when he was doing the aerial view. I don't know. I don't think Lori talked, but we'll see what happened. <laughs> Amy Co says that mugshot is rough. Hashtag no filter. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm going to show you guys a side shot if you guys haven't seen it already, because let's give you a little bit of something to. I don't like his front shot. It's it, it's like a is like a smirk in there. Uh, Toodle says the police never checked this place before. Yeah, they did. In January 3rd, they checked. Um, they did check. The arrogance of them, of the two of them, is disgusting. That's what RMW says. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Adrienne saying hashtag no filter. She's laughing. <laughs> Welcome, Jensen Diary, Jensen Diary, Jensen Diary, right? Did I say that right? Welcome to the crime ring. I don't remember if they had a dog there on January 3rd. Does anybody know that answer? It's been a while um, since they did that. I feel like they did, but I don't, I'm not certain. I'm not certain. No, JJ's birthday was on the 25th of May. I believe it was the 25th. Yeah, his mug shot, I gave you guys the side shot. And I could do the front one too as well. Teresa says, link to JJ's grandma's press conference in message wouldn't let me post in super chat. 
thank you for your super chat. And then, um, okay, where is that? In message, okay. If you guys have that, I would love that e that message to uh, to see. Welcome, Italia de la Cruz. Okay, let's see. Oh, right. Yeah, do it without the, the dot com and then... <sighs> I hope not, you guys. Where did Kay do the, um, where did Kay do the, someone said Fox 10, right? Or is it? Where is Kay Woodcock's, um, press conference. Thank you, BB. I still can't see it. Fox 10. I can't put it on slow mode because I'm on my, on my um, mobile. Amy Coe says, thanks for working so hard on the story. Thank you. Fox 13, Idaho. I'm trying to find it, you guys. If you guys have the link, that'd be awesome. If you could just put it in the chat for me and then I could just click it. Amy says, Amy Culpas says, do you think that Chad had plans on putting the mobile home concrete pad on top of the remains and hope that they've never been found? Thank you for the super chat. Um, I heard that he was doing a mobile home or something on there, um, but I, I never got concrete info um, on that. Still waiting for a link. <laughs> waiting for a link. Oh yeah, I just said concrete info. <laughs> uh, Email to me, okay. Okay, so Okay, but if people are messaging me about the grandma, um Ann Cushing is not the grandma. Ann Cushing is Joseph Ryan's sister. The third husband sister. Just a bit says cadaver dogs can smell death beneath the ground. Had to wait for the ground to thaw before they could dig. Children disappeared before the ground froze. Yes. Question about the, I have a question about the cadaver dog and thank you for the super chat. Um, would they be able to smell it when the ground is frozen? Because I believe they can still sniff through that, right? Even if it's frozen. Maddie says, would it be possible the remains were buried after the initial search? And that's why Chad suddenly moved back into his old house because he needed to keep an eye on the property. That's quite possible. And I wondered that because, um, I wondered that. 
uh, if maybe it was moved. Sorry, just pause for a sec there. Um, yes, they can. Okay. Yeah, even if it's frozen. That's what I thought. Okay. <sighs> Recap. Okay. If you're just joining in, there's 2,700 of us in here. And welcome again uh, if you're just joining. So, Chad Daybell is arrested. Um, he's charged for destruction or concealment of evidence. He's going to be in court tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern. It is a closed hearing. However, Nate Eaton of East Idaho News will be live streaming it. Yeah, um, I did. I did do a picture of his mug shot, and I can do it. Um, let me just show you guys again, so you can have a little perusal of what he looks like. I'll do it a couple times because you might might take you. Yeah, just a bit says can't dig frozen ground. Yes, of course. Well, it's hard, right? Uh huh. It's hard to do. Um, I was just curious about if it could smell. Yes, I did mention that about Justin Lum updating about two different people. Susan says, does anyone have any thoughts on how the authorities knew exactly where to look in Chad's yard, who tipped them off? We don't know, um, but it definitely it was something very targeted because they went there and they went straight to the one spot to set up. So I don't know. Maddie says plot twist of 2020. It's not the kids and Chad's a serial killer. I wouldn't doubt it at this point. And all his crappy comments. Oh, I didn't say Ann Cushing isn't the main aunt. I said Ann Cushing isn't the grandmother. Ann Cushing is uh, Tylee's aunt. Somebody said he's going to write, um, he's going to write a, a book in jail. Well, right now, I don't know, isn't he selling them for like $3 and he has like two stars out of five? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're so helpful. Thank you. Um, Justin Lum has a statement from Carrie and Larry, from Kay and Larry Woodcock, who are the grandparents, and says, we got this news early this morning that police and FBI had served a search warrant at Chad Daybell's property and have been in touch with law enforcement throughout the day. And then it says, we were notified 
the law enforcement had discovered human remains on the property. This is obviously a very difficult time for our family and we ask that you respect our privacy, privacy as we wait further news with heavy hearts. Stay at home mom detective says, Linda, thank you for the selfless hours you spent on all these. Sorry. Um, all these cases, giving victims and their families a voice. I love you and your dedication and sincerity. Thank you very, very much. Whew. Thank you. Whew. This sucks. Okay. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your support. It's not always easy um, to do this. Sometimes I go, what am I doing? And then at the end of the day is like, I, I love having this platform and having a voice to say something for these kids or for these people that are missing and pointing out my little nerdy isms that I can, um, that I can see in patterns and timelines and just using, um, uh, using the, th I don't know what you call it, a gift, a, a, a talent, a, I, don't, I don't know what you, using my little isms, I just, my isms uh, to point out things that maybe some people can't. And so um, sometimes it's really hard to do these videos, um, especially you pour hours. I think, I think even Ganon alone, it was like 600 hours um, and more, and I won't stop for him. Um, until he gets justice and same with and stay with st same with these guys um, you get attached and you also you really want to see the you want to see um, you want to see that there's hope that maybe maybe that we're wrong maybe that somebody isn't so evil that they would do this to somebody and um, <laughs> Charlotte says my eyes are sweating <laughs> Mine too, they're woo, he's sweating. <laughs> and um, so, um, thank you, Alyssa, thank you. Um, yeah, so you're just, your heart just goes out to these people and the families and knowing that their hearts are breaking. And um, <laughs> Valerie says you are like Sherlock Holmes, you can see it in your head as a picture. It's so, it's so weird, um, some of the things that when I start to see it and put it together, it, it, I, I can't explain it. It's kind of like, you know those pictures years ago in the, was it the 90s that it came out or maybe 80s? You know the picture that you would look at and it looked like a bunch of jumbled mess, but then if you stare at it long enough, it becomes a, a proper picture? I would literally have, I would go into it and see it in two seconds. And my, I'd be like, oh, it's a boat that has da-da-da-da. And my friends are looking at me like, what? How'd you figure that out so fast? And they would get so angry. But for me, it was like, it was like this. It was like, it, it, it's not the I Spy ones. It was, it's like, it looks like, uh, it looks like, I, I can't explain it. I can't remember the names of it. Um, but I would just walk up and, and see it. So, um. And then I just learned that for some reason, I, I see patterns. And um, <laughs> thank you, ML. <laughs> Look at the little guy smiling. It's really it made me smile. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for all your support. You guys are just really, really great. Cold Jackal says no backhoes in January, maybe a restricted warrant. Yeah, well, who knows what the info they had to go there too, right? Yeah, like the, you know, the old pictures that it just looked like a bunch of, a uh, bunch of pattern and then there's something in it and I would just walk by and go, oh, that's that, da 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 and people are like, Linda, how do you see that? That's ridiculous. Yeah, 3D or something, yeah. Ah, I just, I don't know. The hidden image. Oh, Denisa, thank you so much. Whew. You must have been a pro at Where's Waldo. I was. I was really good at it. <laughs> thank you, Maddie. <laughs> 
And could you imagine somebody mentioned law enforcement? Absolutely. They had to piece together in, from different states, from different people, like putting all these people together, who's who, you know, who's saying what, who's lying. Rebel Rose is sending me ice water. Thank you. I don't even have a drink. I love you guys too. You guys are really, really great. So supportive. And I, I just really appreciate every single person, every one of you. Okay, they're called magic eye pictures. Okay, I didn't know that. Thank you, Michelle. Whew. Mr. Linda. Yeah, Mr. Linda. <laughs> Mr. Linda brought me the box of tissues today. It was very, very sweet. And he brought me a shake when I was on this morning. Yeah, and he says, so you have a magic eye. Apparently, I do. I have a weird knack for patterns. I don't know. It's it's a it's a ism. I don't know what you call it. MH says, where are my kids? They do well behave, not bugging you for so many hours. <laughs> well, I have I have two kids, one of them is 17 turning 18, and my other one is five turning six. And he, um, he's, with his, he's with daddy, with Mr. Linda right now, and my older one is um, out hanging out, so he's quiet. Melissa says, with your channel, you came in and hit the ground running. I did. I've always been super nerdy when it comes to um, crime cases. And um, I just have my natural. I mean, I, I mean, I'm really nerdy. I used to go like if I go on a flight, I would take one of those um, lo like I'd buy logic puzzles and doing logic puzzles on the, on the plane. Like it's just like. <laughs> Denisa says, yeah, five months, 70,000 subs for true crime only. That must be a record. I don't, I really don't know. I don't know. It has been fast though, for sure. Okay. There's more on Justin Lum, you guys. Thank you so much for being here tonight and, and hanging out. Um, and being here today, I mean, it's very supportive for all of us. Love you, Linda. Be emotional, attached to the cases. I really appreciate all your hard work and how it's paying off with justice. Thank you so much, Algo One. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And Nanny Love says, my mom wants to join, so can you post the link? We love your channel. Yes. I'm assuming you're talking about the membership, right? Um, Um, there, that should work. <sighs> I hope we can get a, a video too of Chad's. Could you imagine being a fly on the wall right now? Yes, the membership is monthly. Um, it is um, 
Yeah, it's monthly. It starts as little as $2. It depends on the tier that you want. There's four different tiers. So it's $2, $5, and then it goes up from there. And so, um, and then you get a lot of perks. So. My email. Ooh, it's hot. 70,000 friends. Yes, we just had 70,000 tonight. You guys saw that I actually um, changed my sign as you guys were watching, so it was fun. This, These lights, this ring light is super hot, and I have also a sweater on, so it probably doesn't help. Let's just do another double check on Justin Lum. The grandparents also ask people to refrain from sending donations or flowers at this time. Okay, let's see. Let's see. That mug shot he has, let me just show you guys again. Because this mug shot that he has just bothers me looking at him. Like, it's disgusting. He just has like a smirk on his face. I want to wipe it right off him. Okay, wait a minute. Somebody's saying. <sighs> okay, where are you guys seeing that confirmation? A smug, a smug shot, right? Somebody called it a smug shot. An update, Chad Daybell has been arrested for destruction or concealment of evidence. He's going to have a hearing tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. That's Mountain Standard Time, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern. Nate Eaton from East Idaho um, News said that he's going to be doing a live stream from there. Bad Chad, yes. Pamela says, do you ever feel overwhelmed? The answer is yes. And do you ever feel like you could fight crime like the FBI does? Well, I would love to. <laughs> I'd be like, give me, give me all the evidence. I'll find the pattern. Give that to me. <laughs> I'll give you the pattern and I'll tell you what I see. That's what I would love to do. Yes, 12 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Eastern. 
Oh, I am too emotional. Well, the thing is, is maybe too emotional for FBI is what you're saying? Maybe. But I think being emotional is also a gift in a lot of ways as well. And I'd rather be emotional than, um, than not feel anything. Not that saying that they aren't, I'm just in general for me. I'd rather feel than not. Even though sometimes that hurts. Oh yeah, the mugshot, um, I did give it, here, I'll give it in the chat. I'll give you a link to the mugshot. Right there. Yeah, um, being emotional is great. Feeling empathy is great. Otherwise, I'd be Lori Vallow Daybell. Right? What does she feel? Nothing. Joe Pa says, thank you for keeping the Daybell story out there and fresh. Thank you. I was hoping it would be um, a really good uh, outcome, but Shell says, where do we send cupcakes to now? Yeah, well, I tell you, I want to show where Chad can put his cupcake. Oh, this is <laughs> this is just a lip lip gloss from Victoria's Secret Pink Champagne. It's yummy. My lips get so dry after talking for so long. Isabel says, Linda, I know when I go to the prisons to visit the inmates and take them the word of God, I've known him that he police give those kind of men to the inmates so that they can take them out. He will die. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I'm sure Chad's going to need a little bit of an underwear change pretty quick. Deborah Lyles, where do you see that? Oh, yeah, okay, I understand what you're saying. That's the life insurance policy from Charles. Yeah, they're saying that there is two, two people. Thank you, Patty, for letting me know that. Lauren Scharf says there's a Salida conference. Oh, so soon? Allison, thank you. <laughs> I like the little sticker. Amy Culpa says, look at Tammy Lee in the Watts case. She was very emotional for good reason. Nothing wrong with emotional shows. You have heart. Thank you. Chad will be pooping in his portal. Yeah, see, Bird Lady says from his mugshot, he looks smug and cocky. He does a little bit. He has a little bit of that look. Even his eyes have like a little glimmer. I don't like it. Don't like it. Rebecca says, I love your passion and want to be more involved, but when I try to upgrade my membership, the upgrade button is shaded. Help. Keep up the good work. Much love. Take some time for self-care tomorrow. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, 
I'm gonna have to. Uh, there's a YouTube. Um, there's a YouTube help section that maybe that could help. What happens there on the? Uh, it's uh, it's shaded. You're gonna have to tell me. Send me an email. Tell me what your current membership is. Like, what is it? The crime of passion? Is it the crime fighter? Is it the which one it is? And then we'll go from there and we'll see if we can figure it out. Okay? I will definitely help you. Portal potty. <laughs> Mugshot coming your way. And I'll put it up in my community tab, I'm sure. Smug and evil, yeah, I mean, it can be too. I just put the link to the mugshot. Um... Yeah, so Justin Lum said two different sources tell me human remain. Uh, okay, wait, that was human remain. Hang on. It's just loading. I'm just, I don't know what to say. <sighs> okay. So, Justin Lum says, we learned one to two single new details in that press conference. Chad Daybell appears in court at 11 a.m. tomorrow. That's Mountain Standard Time. Rexburg Police Department won't release the identity or identities of the human remains citing autopsy results. Rexburg Police couldn't even announce the specific charge Daybell is accused of. That's right, but we do know it's destruction or concealment of evidence. And the court, uh, the press conference was only four minutes long. And they um, ended their search at the Deba home tonight, but deputies will be stationed there nonstop through the night. The search will continue tomorrow morning, so there'll be more um, searching tomorrow at Chad's home. In my opinion with Sherry says, I like it when Linda gets mad. <laughs> Maxi Nation for Health Plus says, hey, I figured out the super chat. I've been hanging on to that possible sighting of Tylee at the concert for Dear Life Insanity. Thank you for the super chat. You know what? I, I was hopeful too. Um, I really was hopeful up until, up until Melanie Gibb spoke. And then I was like, oh no. I don't know. Yeah, when they kept living a life, that's right. Natalie says, the fact that they kept living life, traveling and hanging out with Chad's children it makes me even more disgusted. Yeah, and Lori serving her Chad's children cookies. And how do you even, how do you even justify? How do you even justify it? Wonder if she's going to get any Kool-Aid now for her lips. Uh. Hang on, you guys. I have an email here. One second. Lots of news coming in. Uh, 
Um, just reading one sec, guys. I can't even. No, they're not at the same jail. He's at the Fremont County Jail. Um, Isabel, do you have where you got that from? How do you know that? Okay, let me see here. I'm just reading through some of your guys' comments. Adrian says, what the heck was used for the mascara in court? Three thick, chunky lashes on watch, watch eye. I know, I saw that too. Like, what are you, what is she using for that? I'm going to show you here, you guys, you want a good smile right now? Cause we could all use one. I'm going to show you what I use for Lori Vallow to describe her just like that. Hopefully you see that Lindenators <laughs> there. You see that <laughs> my clown in a lipstick. That's how I describe her. Denisa says, didn't Chad's kids live in that house? How did they bury, bury body, bodies in the backyard? Or am I wrong about that? Was it just Chad and Tammy there? News report said this morning that it was Chad and family members in the home. So. Okay, updated link. Okay, thank you so much for helping me, you guys. I hate, I hate that. Okay, so. There is. Okay, yeah. So, Nate Eaton has said, thank you to everyone who is sending tips, links, and kind words. We have some information we have chosen not to report just yet. Many people close to the case have not been informed of new developments and investigators are working to meet with them. I apologize for being vague, but promised EastIdahoNews.com will give you the very latest ASAP. So I feel the same way as Nate Eaton. Shell says, do you think it's a coincidence Melly, Melanie Gibbs speaks out and soon after human remains are found on Chad's property? Um, I know a lot of the ball has been rolling since people are starting to talk. And I think Melanie Gibb had already talked to the authorities way back in December. Tammy's autopsy has not been uh, released yet. I don't think Lori would have spoken. I don't think it's Lori that said, like, that um, proactively came forward. Um, I'm going to hold off as well on saying uh, some stuff too. And um, I'm like Nate Eaton that way. 
Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose it if it is what we think it is. Well, see, here's the thing. Um, it says, okay, where did I see that? About Melanie P. I think Melanie, okay, Radiant Light Photo says, I think Melanie P said something in her interviews that tipped something or something or someone more than Gibbs. Well, the thing is, is they had discrepancies. And that's what my whole video was about this morning when I was supposed to vi uh, film it, was all the discrepancies. But I don't, it wasn't necessarily uh, with Chad and Lori. There was a little bit, but not. Scott Rossetti says, hey, Linda, I've had no you'd, n notifications or recommendations from YouTube on any of your videos or lives until just now. That's so weird. So I will wait until end of live so I can listen to all okay. Yeah, no problem, Scott. Thanks for coming on. Deborah says, I felt, I feel like Melanie Gibb had a lot of information and she did seem like a very nice lady, but if she knew something, wouldn't she have spoken up by now? Melanie Gibb um, said that she already went like back in December and talked to authorities. Maybe now though they're piecing everything together. Yes, Tracy, it was your idea, Melanie versus Melanie. And then I put it in the community tab for polling, and it was like 2,200 people said they wanted to see it. And then I made it. <sighs> okay, Shayna Lynn has some info snacks on how you do makeup in jail. Yeah, you mix coffee and Kool-Aid to get the color in a little bit of water, and you mix it up together to make eyeshadow, lipstick, eyeliner, mascara. And don't you use like a... Um, a magazine and and then use like bl use it for blush and and uh, eyeshadow, right? Uh, Nate Eaton posted that on Facebook. I'll I'll put that here in your in the feed. There you go. Welcome, Dottie Rhodes. Uh, how do I know what? Oh, the makeup? Somebody just posted it. <laughs> B4 Blonde says, so weird. I stopped receiving updates about your channel, too. I have set to all. So that's so weird. Some weird thing. Maybe it's an algorithm thing. So how can family confirm anything when the autopsy isn't finished yet? I don't know. Maybe they did quick dental records. Maybe there's something that is... I have no idea. I really don't know. Deborah says, it's not a day for celebration, but so happy you're reaching 70,000. Thank you. Yeah, I changed it right on. Right on. Uh, on camera. I have been live now for 144 minutes. This morning was a long time as well. Carrie Livingston says Scott Reich did say that sometimes autopsies can come back in hours. Okay. Oh. 
soon I will get some rest for sure. Officially, they haven't said who the remains are. They're actually um, having an autopsy done. Um, Nate Eaton on East Idaho News just said he knows some information, but he's keeping it. Um, well, I'll read you what he said. Where was that now? Nate Eaton says, thank you to everyone who's sending tips, links, and kind words. We have some information we have chosen not to report just yet. Many people close to the case have not been informed of new developments and investigators are working to meet with them. I apologize for being vague, but promise eastidahonews.com will give you the very latest ASAP. Um, I'm going to, I should probably change out my, hang on guys, I might, I'm going to just change out my microphone and it'll be a little bit different. Oh, I can't even pull it out. There we go. Hang on. And I'm just going to plug it in so it doesn't die on you. So the sound might f sound a little more funny, but I just don't want it to die. So um, let me see. Ooh, there's just been a lot hay this week, this day today. Yeah, Maggie says over 2,500 this whole time. Thank you. Yeah, 2,500 tonight. I think there was 3,100 earlier this morning. So it's been crazy. Um, I am on Nate Eaton's last post. I just read it out loud unless I missed something. I can't have slow chat on on my mobile phone. It's not possible. If you just came in, Chad Daybell has been arrested. He is arrested for destruction or concealment of evidence. And um, they have found unidentified human remains today. It may be identified quite soon. But as for now, it's officially not. And um, Chad's vehicle has been impounded. His house, his property has been searched since 7 o'clock this morning. And um, I just don't want it to be true. I'm sure all of you guys didn't want to. And Nate is the best. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more charges coming, in my opinion. Ugh. It's just disgusting. Yeah, um, they haven't confirmed who it was. There's a lot of talk right now about some fa the family members, some of them. Um, Kate and Larry Woodcock gave a statement and Justin Lum, it was on Justin Lum's page. It's a statement from Kate and Larry Woodcock. 
grandparents of J.J. Vallow. We got this news early this morning that police and FBI had served a search warrant at Chad Daybell's property and have been in touch with law enforcement throughout the day. And then it says, um, we were notified that the law enforcement had discovered human remains on the property. This is obviously a very difficult time for our family and we ask that you respect our privacy as we wait further news with heavy hearts. And the grandparents also ask people to refrain from sending donations or flowers at this time. Um, yeah, Chad, Chad, um, they said that they left while they were searching, but they ended up detaining, um, Chad at 1130 AM. So I don't know, you guys, I, what a day, what a day. Oh, I wasn't switching microphones. I was switching so that my phone can be charging. Otherwise, it'll die on you. Getting a hot flash again, you guys. <clears throat> it is definitely an emotional day, absolutely. Yes, have a good one, Denisa. I'm going to get off pretty quick myself here. I think um, I think we've had enough news for the day. Um, it's going to take a little time to digest. <laughs> AD Fisher says, need, it's a crime merch. I actually have merch. Um, I actually do have that. <clears throat> Let's see if I can find it for you. You should see it actually below the video, but I do have It's a Crime merch. <laughs> if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, um, you can subscribe <laughs> if you'd like to, and then hit the notification to all, and then that way you can get notified of all my videos. And then um, you can get updated on on this tomorrow because I will go on. 11 a.m. is the uh, hearing and Nate Eaton from East Idaho News is going to stream it, so that's really good. Um, let me get you, I'm gonna get you that link that you were talking about merch too as well. Oh, the cupcake emoji, I know. It's been a lot, you know, this is super emotional up and down, right? I would love to um, interview Nate. I would. I really would. I wonder if he's seen any of my videos. That would be interesting to know, wouldn't it? Um, let me just go to my channel. Okay.
I'm just grabbing you a link here. My computer's deciding to be slow now. I just had one designed actually that says, let's get into it. Um, it's not up yet though. Here's the merch though. I'll give you the merch address. Chat is flowing fast. Oops, that's not it. There you go. All right. You guys are super awesome. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thank you for your support. Thank you for letting me cry. Thank you for letting me laugh. Thank you for letting me do the videos. Thank you for watching. It's just amazing. Um, and thank you for growing the family. The family's growing. I actually changed the board tonight live. Oh, Utah, wait a minute. Utah News. Okay, hang on. more news coming in hang on yes don't forget to hit the like button there's 1.7 thousand likes and there's 2.2 thousand in chat thank you guys let's you know what let's put out some hearts for jj and tylee's family we don't know if it's them officially yet but I think they could use some love and they're going through hell tonight while they try and sleep. So let's get out some hearts. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for the mods tonight. Thank you for joining me. Um, thank you for becoming a member of the crime ring. Thank you for the super chats. I love you guys all. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll see you again tomorrow. I'll be coming back and we'll, um, we'll be in this together. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon, you guys. Good night. Have a great night.